Your employer can legally monitor the websites you visit, your emails, texts, social media accounts, and the whereabouts of your company car, even during non-work hours. Business owners say it's about productivity, but critics call it a big brother practice that robs employees of their right to privacy. Joining me on the legal issues involved is employment law attorney Dan Eaton. Dan, welcome back. Sure, nice to see you, thank you. Dan, what do business owners say as to the need, as to why they need to monitor their employees so closely? The two most frequently given reasons are productivity and misconduct. Uh, they want to squeeze as much productivity as they can out of their employees because that means higher profits. And what that means is they are trying to see where the waste is in their employee movements. With misconduct, I think it's pretty obvious why they're monitoring it if they're suspected misconduct. You shouldn't be visiting uh, you know, sites, illegal sites or, or uh, immoral sites uh, during work hours. Exactly right, or doing things you shouldn't be doing on the web. Even uh, using the internet casually and taking up too much time, it, it really is a time waster sometimes. What can employers in California California legally monitor? Well, uh, they can monitor anything that's out there publicly, of course, even your social media sites. What they cannot do, of course, is they cannot request or require employees or applicants to give them their social media private passwords. But it's really up to employees and applicants to monitor their privacy settings. So how about uh, cell phone text, cell, uh, phone calls, things like that? A lot of that depends on who issued the device. If it's an employer issued device and they have a policy that says they can and will monitor, they can and many times will monitor those devices. If it's private and you're using a private account and your own private uh, device, whether it's a phone or iPad or what have you, then the law is less clear about what the employer can do. If you're doing it on your own time with your own device, you're probably protected. So you mentioned that business owners are looking at this as a productivity situation, but there was a case recently in New York of a man who got fired after being monitored uh, for for uh, some of the stuff he was doing with his job. what? How can employers use this information? Can they fire you over it? Well, sure, they can, depending on the nature of it. But of course, if you're at will, there's a broad latitude to fire. But the case you're referring to is a 2008 case where the employee, in fact, uh, who was a public employee, had been disciplined for some time-wasting misconduct. The employer wanted to find out if it was still going on, so they attached a GPS to his private car. And so they found out that, yes, he was wasting time, and they fired him and a New York, an intermediate New York Court of Appeals upheld that firing, said, you know what, the employer, the public employer, in this case, ironically, the State Department of Labor, had an interest in uh, its own integrity and protecting the waste of taxpayer money. But some would say, look, the government can't place a GPS on a suspect's car. They can't access your without computer. Without a court order. Right, without a court order. They can't access your computer without a court order or a search warrant. So how come employers are given that right? Well, of course, employers in, in broad terms uh, typically don't have the constitutional restraints that apply to the government. But here in California, the constitutional right to privacy does apply both to private employers and public employers. But here's what it amounts to. If you're on notice from your employer that your employer is going to look at it, your reasonable expectation of privacy shrinks. And that allows the employer to do a lot more than he otherwise could. Let's talk about that disclosure. What do employers have to disclose and when do they have to disclose it as far as monitoring? Well, of course, depending on the situation, they may not have to disclose it at all. There was a video surveillance case that came out of the California Supreme Court that said it was OK, depending on the nature of the harm that was involved. But the bottom line is that if an employer does disclose, it gives them much more right to review and monitor this kind of behavior than if they don't. And most employers these days, Peggy, do have the kind of policies that put employees on notice that they can be watched. So we know before it's happening. Um, what about outside of work? Let's say you're griping about your boss on Facebook. Uh, is that something that your boss can access? Sorry, it depends. I, I know that people hate to hear that from a lawyer, but it depends on whether it's a personal gripe or whether it is a gripe that is in mutual aid and benefit of improving workplace conditions. What does that mean? The National Labor Relations Board has issued guidance that says, look, if an employee is griping in order to make workplace conditions better and is doing it in, con in conjunction with other employees, that is protected. You can't fire them for that, but if they're just personally griping, the employer can in fact, take action against the employee. Your takeaway message to workers who are concerned about privacy issues at work, what's your advice? Be careful about using company-issued equipment uh, and what you say on company-issued equipment using company-issued uh, accounts, whether social media or email. 
because somebody may be watching. All right, Danny, Employment Law Attorney, thanks so much for this update. Sure, nice to see you, Peggy.